think of me as a poorly made Dutch East India ship because today I'm leaking the spice. Don't ask me where that came from, but I can I can tell you where these cards came from. It's the brand new Pokemon Go set released today on PTCGO, plus you can buy the products around the world as far as I'm aware. Um, one of the cards that you should be on the lookout for is this Magikarp. I know, well, not the first option that I would have thought of, but to be honest, it's actually quite powerful and could end up being the best budget deck option from the entire Pokemon Go set. Let's talk about why. Raging Fin as an attack is very, very powerful. Two colorless energy, it deals 10 damage, which is not too much on first glance, but if we look at the text, we can see that every Magikarp and Gyarados in our discard pile provide an extra 30 damage. Let's just think for a second, if we have one Magikarp in play, and seven Magikarp and Gyarados in our discard pile, three Magikarp and four Gyarados, then we can be dealing 220 damage, which is nothing to sneeze at. Add a choice belt to that, you're dealing 250, that's super, super nice. But the question is, how can we get to 280, which is where most V-Star Pokemon are sitting? Why, we also have the brand new Ditto card from Pokemon Go, which is a super important inclusion in this deck to help you get to those 280 damage markers. Sudden Transformation is the ability that we're going to be making use of here. It essentially states that every single basic non-V, non-rule box Pokemon in your discard pile, the attacks of those Pokemon can be used by this ditto, provided that you have the appropriate energy. So if we attach a double turbo energy or a twin energy to this ditto, and we have a magic up in the discard pile, which we're going going to because we need to to get that extra damage, then Ditto can deal 280 damage with a choice belt. That is incredibly strong. We also have in the list a lot of Chinchino. It's a 4-4 line of Chinchino to help us get these Gyarados and Magikarp into the discard pile. In a pinch, they can use energy assist, but really, we only want them for make do. We discard a card from our hand and then draw two cards. Normally, you'd need to make a decision about what cards you don't need for later, but in this deck, you can just discard Gyarados and Magikarp, and you are A-OK -okay living the dream. A couple of other cards to talk about. In this list, I have included a copy of Peonia. We don't want to lose Magikarp and Gyarados pieces into the prizes. If that's the case, then our damage output will be minimized significantly. So Peonia can swap three prize cards with three cards in your hand to potentially give you a chance to get those Magikarp and Gyarados out. If they don't exist in those three prizes, then you just have to take them traditionally. I'm sorry, there's not much more that we can do. Uh, but I'm also playing one copy of Roseanne's backup in the list. Firstly, because I want to use the full art. I've had three of them for ages and never used them. But also, this text actually allows us to get extra dittos, extra choice belts, and extra energy back into the deck so that we can potentially attack again at a later date. Roseanne's back up, but very, very useful in this one. You will note that there are no water energy in the deck, so we cannot use Wild Splash, but in an absolute pinch, we can theoretically use Gyarados' first attack, wreak havoc, flip a coin until you get Tails for each heads, discard top two cards from your opponent's deck. That's theoretically an option. I don't think we're going to see it today, but it's definitely something that we can look at in the future if you want. Do you want to see that? I don't know if you want to see that. Anyway, Magikarp. Magikarp's the focus. He's the big boy. We're going to take him out onto the ladder and see if this 30 HP basic Pokemon can take knockouts on any V-Stars today. Time to start. We're going first, and our hand is atrocious, so we're going to pass and leave it to them. It looks like our opponent's playing some sort of psychic-based deck with Cresselia. Crescent Glow, obviously a good attack to use. Going second, you can get three Psychic Energies from your deck onto your Pokemon. Very, very nice. Uh, Adventurous Discovery means we're probably looking at like a Shadow Rider or something similar. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see that. Also, Pokemon Go is out. That's very exciting. Thank you very much for joining me on the first video of the Pokemon Go series. We're looking forward to playing a lot of different decks in this particular set. If you would like to and you feel comfortable doing so, please subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. Leave a like. Do all that good stuff and comment down below. Did, did you like my joke? I need to know. I need to know if you like my joke at the start of the video. I, I said it. I edited it, so I zoomed in on my face, and now I'm sitting here being like, that was silly.
don't, don't, don't break my heart. Please, tell me how funny it was. Just, I don't, be, lie, lie to me in the comments, just lie. Um, this video, this, this game's not going to make it in anyway, because unless I absolutely pop off here, we are in trouble. Um, but we'll, so we'll play it out, you never know, you never, oh my god, that's even worse. Okay, Air Balloon, Chinchino, let's grab ourselves a couple of cards with Make Do. Get rid of a research here, hopefully we can find a basic... And at least we've got a magic up. Okay, so at least I can attach an energy to this thing. Um, and then we can research. We lose one of the DTEs, but that's okay. We should be fine. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my word. We've actually got a lot of options here. We'll get Gyarados and also, I think, a Gyarados. Oh, actually, we should get them in Chino. The Chinchino, right? That seems better. Uh, we can quick ball away Gyarados to get ourselves a magic up, And then in theory, if we want to, we can quick ball away that magic up and get another magic up if we'd like. I think that's probably a pretty good idea. Then we can throw down this Chinchino. Uh, we can also then make do away the magic up. We could be perilously close to 120 damage here. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually not sure how far away we are. Let's go Minchino onto the bench. We'll throw him down there. Uh, we can retreat into a magical carp, put the ditto on the bench, and then Raging Finn for not enough damage. 100! Oh, boy. Okay, so I was close. I was close to getting a knockout. Now, our opponent can just beat us. I am realizing now that our opponent can theoretically just win this game. If they attack with their Calyrex V, with their first attack, denying us the ability to use special energy... We probably lose. I'm not sure how much damage it deals. I feel like it's 30. I'm not going to look. Because I'm afraid. So hopefully they don't realize that. And instead go into their Shadow Rider V-Maxes. It looks like that's what's going to happen. Well, we've dodged a couple of bullets here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got ourselves a chance. Which is all we can ask for. Unless, of course, they attack with another one. I didn't consider that. They could, they could also do that. Um, that's a concern? No, it's not. It's no longer a concern. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, also, something else to note. We cannot one-shot a VMAX. Even if we use something like uh, Horlucha. Can't do it. So, the most we can do is 320. Ah, uh, 310, sorry. And the only Pokemon that have 310 HP like Mew VMAX, but they uh, usually play Oricorio. So, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. That's okay. We don't need to. We don't need to be attacking into Vmaxes all the time. Come on, you don't need to do that. All we need to do is hit into them twice, and I think we can manage twice, don't you? I think we can hit into a Vmax twice. <sighs> Why? Why? We're paired up against such a bad matchup to start off with, but it's going to be fine. We've got a board state. We've got Chinchinos out the wazoo. We are living the dream. So hopefully we can make do away some of these Gyarados. Uh, maybe Trekking Shoes. Maybe we can Chinchino into something fresh. We've got Twin Energy to attach to the Ditto. It's gonna be fine. Our opponent, however, is taking a big long time with their turn. They've got lots of cards to play, to be fair to them. So it's not like it's the end of the world. But I'm definitely very... <laughs> it's like, there's a lot of anxiety in me. My Magic Harp has 30 HP. You are currently dealing 220. You don't need to do that much. There's no need for you to do 220 ma damage in this matchup at all. It doesn't have to happen. Let's Trekking Shoes. Uh, I like the Ultra Ball. I kind of like it. We should get rid of it. Um, oh, Trekking Shoes. Trekking Shoes away. Sounds good. Oh, Path of the Peak seems good, right? In this matchup. I like, I like Path. I mean, it's not about it's not about them having access to more energy. It's about them having access to more cards. Uh, we will make do again. We've got another Gyarados off of that. Make do. So we've made do into double ditto. Woohoo! Gee, gee whiz. Okay, let's throw down the path. Let's play it down a twin energy. Um, we've got a couple of supporters in the discard pile. We also have six magical carp pieces. Let's power pad those supporters back in. You never know when we might need them. Then we can research. And I tell you what, we've got a lot of energies here. We've also got a quick ball we could theoretically play. I'm thinking we might just retreat, though, into the ditto. Uh, we might attach this choice belt. I'm not sure if it ever matters, but we can definitely attack. What am I doing? 369, 180, 220. Oh, yeah, I was right. Okay, so 220. It's pretty good for a little blob of sludge. What is Ditto? 
Just a ball of DNA, a DNA ball. No wonder it can breed with all those different Pokemon. It's just all... Oh my god, that's not... Think about it. Let's not think about it. Let's not think about the logistics of how breeding in Pokemon works. This is, a, this is a rabbit hole that you don't want to go down, Mitch. You are sitting here thinking about how you should probably not include this game regardless. Because of that comment alone. Even if you, even if you were to win at this stage, probably best not to... Uh, to open the discourse on that particular genre of conversation. Um, I'm going to change the subject. How is everyone, how is everyone going today? Would you like to, uh, discuss your favourite cards from Pokemon Go, perhaps? Mayhaps you like a Radiant Charizard or Blastoise or Venusaur? Mayhaps? Please don't ask me questions about where Pokemon babies come from. Let's make do. We're gonna get rid of the quick ball. Get out of here. We just, just play the game. We're gonna, we're gonna make two away this Gyarados. We've got to get some more pieces in the discard pile here. I like the level ball. We can level ball for a Minchino. Thin that out of the deck and then make it do. Make do and get rid of the Minchino. Draw a couple more cards. Now we need to be careful. We're actually running out of cards in our deck, so definitely want to be careful here. We will take the knockout now on this Cresselia. Raging Finn puts 200 damage down, which is pretty solid. 220, of course, minus 20 for the double turbo energy. But we have two bosses orders left in this game. Our opponent needs to take four prizes. We might actually be able to win here. Um, even though this Avery is quite frustrating, I, I think we're just going to get rid of a couple of Chinchinos, to be honest. Because I don't really care about those anymore. We have all of the cards that we'll ever need in our life in our hand. Uh, all we need to do is attach double turbo energy or twin energy three more times. And I think we do have access to the uh, to the recovery in... What's it's called? What's it's called its face? In Rescue Carrier? I know what I'm talking about. I've not seen Rescue Carrier in the discard pile there. I'm sure we're going to be fine. Um, I shouldn't record this early in the morning. I can't. I, can't, I just can't. Oh, this is a disaster. This is a disaster of a video. It's going to be fine. Just power through, Mitch. No one's... Oh, it's a Crobat. Oh my god, the game. That's the game. That's the game. We just need to find the second boss now. Okay. Game of pose. In, we're leaning in now. It's time. It's time! We're gonna be able to take two knockouts to win this game. Definitely better than three attacks. Oh, we took the other boss! Come on. Let's double turbo energy. We will make do. We'll get rid of as many cards as we can. Manaphy's not required, so we'll get rid of that. We don't need the level ball. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. We can throw down the choice belt onto the ditto on the bench and then boss the crowbat. Uh, we'll be able to use Raging Fin, take the knockout, and give ourselves one more attack to win the game. They could theoretically Marnie us, which would be disappointing, but at least we know that if they do Marnie us, we have Roxanne's, uh, Roseanne's backup uh, in the deck. So, in theory, if they do Marnie us, we can just half hit into this Calyrex, and then hopefully draw the Ditto and the Energy in order to attack again. So, there is definitely still a chance if they do Marnie us. It's not the end of the world. We obviously don't want it to happen. We'd much rather just win the game from here. So, we'll see how it goes. Uh, they're going to attack. They're going to take a prize. And then, really, we've got two turns to get this Ditto into play, right? So, uh, is there going to be a Marnie Underworld Door accelerating some energy? They might elect to retreat into this Articuno and maybe force an awkward prize trade out of me. It seems like an intelligent thing to do, but my dittos are globbing around. We're all ready. They're going to boss. They're going to boss his orders. Okay, that is not a Marnie. That is not a knockout on two dittos in a turn. 310 damage is not enough to win this game, my friend. Well played. Bosses orders into the benched Shadow Rider Calyrex. We can then Raging Fin for the knockout three prizes. And now I suppose I have to keep this game in, don't I? I mean, oh no. Time to play again. Let's go. Quick ball. Gyarados, get started. Magikarp. 
Alrighty, we've got it. We've got a great start. We're playing up against the Lightning deck, which is disappointing, frankly, because we are weak to Lightning. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but we're, we're, we're genuinely not, con we're not concerned. We're not concerned. It could be like a single prize box. The thing about single prize matchups at the moment is that if this, if there's one deck that attacks first, it will usually be the one that wins the game. So I'm very confident that we can get a knockout if this is a single prize kind of flappy box thing. If it's got any two prize Pokemon at all, then I'm way more confident that we can win. Um, although if they are playing something like a little out of left field that can maybe spread damage around, that would be really bad. Bolton V. Um, that's potentially an issue. Uh, no, it shouldn't be too big of a problem because we should be able to knock it out before it becomes one. Um, classic trekking shoes into trekking shoes. Uh, it's an excellent decision. Excellent play. I was, I was, I thought that was going to be another set of trekking shoes. Okay, so they've got an energy on Bolton V here. They're going to retreat. Does that mean that they knock out this magic harp? It does, doesn't it? They're going to smash turn take a knockout. Little do they know that they are powering up my win condition. I am ready to start attacking. Let's put the ditto in the active. We're just going to get to 200 this turn. Not with that top deck, we're not. Um, I think it's better to just research here. Like, it makes more mathematical sense. And boy, there's a lot of ball search in this hand. Let's grab a Chinchino. We do want that. We also want a Minchino. I like that too. We can throw down this evil incense and grab ourselves a, a Gyarados. And then we can throw this down and get ourselves a Gyarados. Uh, then we can play the quick ball, get rid of the Gyarados, and grab ourselves a Minchino, I think. Just grab another Minchino, set the board up. We've only got two Ditto left in the deck, which is a little awkward, but this is fine. Uh, a couple of Minchinos, throw the Chinchino down here, and then I can uh, make do and get rid of the Gyarados. Uh, no attack this turn, but that's not the end of the world. Electro Bullet is only a threat if they get two energy on there and I bench a magic up, which I won't do. Um, although to be fair, Electro Bullet could be a threat later in the game if these Minchinos don't evolve. So, I'm feeling okay, they'll knock this ditto out and then all we need to do is find like an air balloon and we should be fine. Um, and it looks like it's a Bolton VMAX deck as well, so we probably are going to be able to win this one by virtue of the fact that our opponent will give up three prizes to our one. There's a double turbo energy, which we could have used 30 seconds ago, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, a ball. Ooh, actually, it's not as great as I thought it was initially. Let's put some of the supporters back in the deck with Power Pad. I think we might just need to research. We're hoping for an attack here. Well, I mean, this is pretty this is pretty close. This is almost everything. Two Chinchinos and an Evolution Incense that we can play to grab ourselves the last a Gyarados. Then we can make do that particular card away, and we're hoping that we can find either more magic cups or we can find an attacker. Now that quick ball is an attacker, so I'm gonna get rid of the Ultra Ball here with this make do. Um now wait, look at this. Look at this. Incredible. Trekking shoes, turbo energy. Duh, we don't need the turbo energy. Manaphy, we definitely don't need. That's a that's a, a grim situation. Um, let's get the ditto here. We are not going to take a knockout, but that's okay. We don't need to take a knockout. We just need to attack. That's the thing with these one prize decks. You just need to attack every turn. And ditto's going to do it. Raging Fin deals 200 damage. As simple as that, we're only two prizes behind. We will be level on prizes next turn. Unless something strange happens, which, I mean, strange things have happened in Pokemon before. Um, keeping you up to date with my Netflix watching, I've not watched Stranger Things and I'm not going to. I was talking about it a few videos back, should I watch Stranger Things, I was asking. Um, and then I looked into it and I was like, I actually don't have any interest in this show at all. So I'm not going to, and then I just watched Obi-Wan. And that was it, really. Like... Sorry. I don't need to apologize to you, I suppose. What have I... I've lost three energy, so I've still got four more to get. This is fine. 
Um, what's our opponent going to do here? They're going to attack into us, and then we need to find a DTE, and we've got so many options to do that. Um, so pretty much now, we're just going to be attacking every turn of the game, and we just want to make sure that uh, we do that every single time. So we've got to find dittos. We've got to find energies. We've got to find boss's orders, potentially. We're about to take three prizes as long as we can find one of the four energies that are left in the deck. We promote the Chinchino. We top deck the Peonia. That's an interesting card. We might potentially use that at some point. I think the Cynthia is better, though, right now. Draw us a ton of cards. Look at that. There's a twin energy. I like that very much. Let's get rid of this Magikarp. I'm sitting in my hand, looking a fool. Uh, and there are no Pokemon left at all. We do have the Rescue Carrier, though. So... Uh, definitely, definitely required, to be brutally honest. We don't really want to make do anymore because we only have four cards left in deck, but I will Trekking Shoes just to draw one. Um, this way we guarantee that we see every card in our deck next turn if we want to. Um, and then we'll Raging Fin take the knockout. And uh, yeah, we should be fine. I realized that I haven't yet taken three prizes. Maybe should not have made do there. Uh, maybe, sh maybe shouldn't have used that... Uh, Trekking shoe, because I thought that uh, we don't worry about it. Just don't worry about me. I was thinking like a person who was playing a different game. I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just a silly thing to have done, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not sure that it's going to be fine. This is. Oh, to be fair though, we should be. We should be fine. We should. This is fine, right? Just. <laughs> Dynamo. Alright. Do they go for the Bolton V Max, or do instead they elect to attack with this Raichu on the bench? It looks like they're gearing up for a Raichu attack. Which is interesting. I suppose they're doing it because they're like, oh, well, we're gonna... That doesn't fit with my narrative. That doesn't fit with what I was about to say. I was gonna say, or oh, we can evolve into the V Max and then force them to have boss, but... They've just gone for the... Gone for the Raichu. It's just a hell of a lot of stuff that's happening here. Bolt Storm, alrighty. It's fine. 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 Uh let's go a rescue carrier for these two dittos. Because we managed to top deck that there. Throw pretty much all of these down, realistically. We don't need to worry too much about it. Uh, then we can retreat into that ditto. And I'm thinking... That, uh, actually... What we... Mm, I think we can Peonia here. Let me just look at these prizes and see what they are, right? None of them are any good. Wouldn't you know it. Uh, let's put back all these draw supporters that we're never going to use. We should probably keep one. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Chinchino, you can go back. It's fine. I don't know why I'm holding on to Professor's Research, honestly. We've only got two cards left in the deck. We're guaranteed to see them next turn if we want to. Raging Fin. 250 damage. Could have done 280. Finished it off with an energy assist. Maybe that would have been better. Certainly would have been funnier. It's probably technically the best play. I don't know. Because if they... Oh, is there ever a way that they, like, turn off abilities or something and stop my Ditto from attacking? Maybe. I mean, they're not going to. They're going to retreat to this Raichu and then just hope that I don't have boss. But I do. It's in my hand. I have it. All right. I have it. Also, thank you very much to, for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Um, how did you feel about... Like, genuinely, how did you feel about the joke at the start? You're the 20 percenters. You're all here to tell me when I'm being an idiot. So, if you liked it, tell me that you liked it. And if you didn't, then tell me that I'm a nautical fool. Raging Finn takes the knockout. We're starting off Pokemon Go with a real bang here, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Well, it's not really that impressive. Okay, new rule. I'm not going to record videos until I have had a couple of moments to wake up. Because I've gone insane here. But you know what else is genuinely insane to me? The fact that all these people over here are continually supporting me and the channel. If you'd like to join them and get your name on the list eventually when I update the slide, then join the channel by becoming a member. There's a little join button down below that you can click. It's next to subscribe and like, which you should have already done if you're here. If you're here and you've not subscribed or liked, then I don't know what more I can do for you. 
other than offer you this video. Do you like that little segue? Was that nice? I don't even know which video it is, I'm just pointing to it. Oh, but it's good though.